So we are now ready to start implementing JWT authentication. We'll be installing a package to help us with this. Please forgive me if I am pronouncing this incorrectly. The package is called JWT Auth by Sean Tymon. The latest version of this package is required for Laravel 6. So let's install it. I'm just going to copy and paste the composer command. That's it, composer require Tymon, etc. Notice that I am requiring a specific version of the software. The reason for that is because the latest version that's out there that's stable doesn't support Laravel 6. However, there is work being done that's to support Laravel 6, and that's in this release candidate number 5. So I'm just going to skip ahead here, but actually first I'll let you know that because this is just a release candidate, in terms of using this code in production, please be aware that it's not 100% stable code yet. So that's just something to keep in mind. However, now I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, to complete installation, we need to run the following artisan command, which comes with the package. I'm just going to copy and paste it in. Okay, so it's php artisan, vendor publish, provider, and then a path. So you can see that it has copied a configuration file from the package into our project. You can see we have a composer.json file here. And you can see that notice we didn't do the dash dash dev and it's added it as a normal dependency. And here's the JWT file that is created for us. And it's a whole bunch of configuration settings in here. The one we are interested in right now is the secret, because this is what we are going to use to sign our JWTs with. And notice that it doesn't exist in our env file. We'll have to add it manually, or we can run the command that comes with this package. So if you go to your terminal again and type php artisan jwt secret, if you run that, it'll generate a key for us, as you can see right there. And it also would have set it for us as well. So now you can see it's in the env file. So that's it for this video. In the next part, we will continue implementing the JWT auth.